Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2022 Panini Select Football 6-Box Half Case Picker Team 6. The second half of that case that I popped open a few hours ago. Big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. Appreciate it. And if you got Mosaic 15 next to your name, that means you won that team with that filler pack that we did in Victor. You ended up with that last spot mojo before we pulled the remaining teams. All right, let's see what we got. Jake Berger tying up the game against my Dodgers with his second homer of the night. Game tied 4-4. Silver lining, Jake Berger is on my fantasy team, so I guess that's good. I do need the offense on my fantasy team. Last year, we we asked, uh, you know, last season, I remember talking about, hey, you know, joking around, we'll put, put, doing baseball breaks and pulling Jake Berger. It's like, hey, Jake Berger, does Jake Berger have his own burger? At the White Sox Stadium, and someone chimed in in the chat, nah, he's, he's not good enough. I wonder after this season, maybe Jake Berger could get a signature burger. Yeah, I got Torkels on my fantasy team. I think he had a dinger today, too. I, think he, I mean, he's got to, I think he's, I feel like he's on the cusp of heating up. You know the former number one overall pick is on the on the cusp of heating up. He just needs uh, he just needs to kind of keep that going for like a week, two weeks, a month. Here's Trevor Lawrence, piece of his jersey. That's going to go to Matthew. Yeah, I guess Spencer always feels like he's a year away from from being a year away. Here's Trey Lance to 149 for the Niners. That'll be for Sean Maddock. But hey, he's a former number one overall pick. This is what, his only second, third year in the league? So I feel like he gets a decent leash. John with the uh, Falcons. Jonathan Taylor had some commentary about the state of running backs and how they're being compensated. It's a rough time for running backs. The numbers show that Isaiah Spiller going into Johnny and the uh, Chargers. The numbers showing that running back effectiveness in their career not very, not as long as some of their other, as long as some of their peers. Here's Josh Allen tie dye, nice to twenty five. And that's a nice field level right there. That's awesome. It's Carlos and the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, not good for the hobby. I mean, I feel like people want to collect running backs. There's Sauce Gardner to the 75. And Bobby Wagner. Jersey and Otto. Nice. Seahawks. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Thirty-four out of seventy-five. Patrick with the Jets gets the sauce. Four out of thirty-five. John Mechie, rookie auto for the Texans. That'll be for Wayne. There's Wandale Robinson to 199. And a Christian McCaffrey, sweet level. Wandale Robinson is going to Eric and the Giants. That is, what level is this? Premier level. And we need more Derrick Henrys. I agree, but... 
that's just not the way. You know, I think I, I I'm a big believer in like sports running in 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 cycles. You know, like one trend will come in and and, and go out. Like, you know, there could be a time where we see dominant, you know, big men, you know, like Shaquille O'Neal type big men in the league, you know, where we, there used to be a lot more of those back then playing a certain style. You know, we're seeing base running coming back in baseball, you know, so, so maybe we'll see some kind of change where, uh, we might see the return of of the running back. But I think guys like Josh Jacobs and and Saquon Barkley and Dalvin Cook, they're gonna have to realize that. You're gonna have to realize just that the, the, the running back market is tough. I don't blame GMs and owners not wanting to pay running backs. Look at look at Ezekiel Elliott, DeMarco Murray. You can, you can go down the whole list. You know, here's here comes McBride, jersey and autograph for the Cardinals. Peter with the Redbirds. One eighty-five out of one ninety-nine. Eric wishes exceptional corners were uh, valued more. Yeah, corners are tough too because you know unless you're just racking up interception numbers. There's Aaron Rodgers Green Bay edition to one forty-nine. Let's go to David. Sometimes corners won't get those those uh, delicious interceptions because no one's throwing their way. Here's Terry McLaurin three-color patch for the Commanders. Joshua. With that one. Nice tie dye parallel. 20 out of 25. But sometimes, because they don't exist, well, sometimes they, they don't get those numbers because they're not throwing that direction. Although Tyler's pointing out listen, maybe because uh, of their quarterback, they have to play Derrick Henry that way. But Derrick Henry has been. Fairly durable, though. Here's Kadarius Tony to 49. Sweet level. And a Desmond Ritter silver. Nice. John Jackson with the Dirty Birds. Premier level on that one. Yeah, I think I like the Raiders draft in general. You know, it's been a, it's been a minute or two since uh, now. I mean, I don't know, like what they do with that. You know, maybe on field coaching could be something to be a little desired from Josh McDaniels and the crew. But draft wise, I think there was a solid draft. Raiders need depth. I mean. They've had so many terrible drafts for so long that they just don't have the depth that they need to be ability to rotate players around. There's nine out of ten field level Romeo Dobbs. That's for David H. I think that's the field level is the shorter printed of all the four or five different levels now. I feel like they should trim down the levels a little bit, but the levels feel like they're getting a little bloated. They do look sharp. It's Cam Taylor Britt, rookie red to 149 for the Bengals. That's going to be for Jeff. Another box. You're wondering why I tear, tear tear it open like that? Well, sometimes we, there's like select packs that like fall sideways and so they can get hidden. And then 
There was one year, this is many years ago, but there was one year where I slid my hand in too quickly to, to get the packs out and I sliced my thumb right against the sharp cardboard edge. You should stop doing that too. Too many levels. Yeah, what well, yeah, what next? Locker room level. Before you know, previously it was just like field level, premier level, and concourse level or something like that. I think that was it. This Dodgers pitching is a, is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Especially the relief pitching. I thought the Dodgers had kind of figured it out in the last year or two, but now it's become another weak point. Starting pitching a problem, but that's they're going to fix that too. Losing Dustin May was not good. Some injuries early in the season for some guys. Here is Dak Prescott, Sparks Relic, 87 out of 99. That's going to be for Ed P. and Dallas. There's Lou Godke, or Gadecki, 4 out of 10. That's for Victor and the Buccaneers. And a Kenyon Green, premier level gold. Six out of 10, that velocity pattern in the background looks sharp. That will be for Wayne and the Texans. Yeah, Caleb Ferguson, who's been pretty steady. He's been getting hitting around a little bit. And part, part of it's just Part of it's just uh, the ebbs and flow of a little regular season, but what happens? Pierre Strong Jr., 66 out of 199. Rookie jersey and autograph for Ron and the Pat Riots. There's Jonathan Owens to 149 for the Texans. There's Reggie Gilliam to 99. What's smart? Oh, it's smart because they know people collect sets and rainbows, so it gets people to buy. I agree. But at some point, if there's just so many levels that it becomes almost impossible to ever complete the set, then maybe they're just like, eh. <laughs> Not worth it. I'll just wait until someone else opens and I'll just buy it on eBay or something like that. Jonathan Taylor to 149. All right, halfway through this break. Kind of like the smart tactic of showing people losing games on apps and ads. I guess people people say it can't be that hard and download the game. I think that's a little different example. I don't know if that's quite applies to this, Mr. X, but I have seen the the video game app thing though. Sometimes I'll see people actually make full on videos of like of like someone being like, who the, like show them actually downloading the game and playing the game. I don't know. Gives a, yeah, the people who claim that we're in Junk Wax era 2.0, I mean, that's also not true. 
as much as they want it to be. So they can be angry about the hobby. It's just, unfortunately, or, uh, not unfortunately, but just, just the way it's gone, it's just expensive now. This isn't hardly junk wax at $700 a box, $750 a box, hardly. It's a lot more stuff now. It doesn't mean, more doesn't mean junk. We're kind of somewhere in between. <laughs> you know, of high end stuff, there's still a lot of low end stuff that comes out. I'm sure the same people, you know, if we roll it back to like, I don't know, if we roll it back to, ooh, Drake London, if we roll it back to Drake London, out of five, sure. One out of five, Drake London, London, London. Going to John Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. With the Dirty Birds, Drake London, out of five. And a train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. It's sharp. And there's Brees Hall. Out of 25. No, he bought he won that team in the filler. As well. Even better. <laughs> Breeze Hall tie dye to 25. Patrick. Yeah, that happens all the time, Rex. There's Tua to 75 and Jeff Wilson. Jersey and autograph tie dye. Even happens here. It's still here on group breaks. You'd be surprised at how many people love the product they happen to hit in, but but hate the product that they don't hit in. They're always like, oh, you know, not worth the cost of the box. That's. And then I try to explain to them, hey, you know, because it's most likely they're like, no, you're just a, you're just you're just d writing for Panini, and it's like, come on, <laughs> you know. Blah, 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 but what are you going to do? Once, once, when, once people are convinced of something, you know, they, they, they build the narrative in their head. They would, then they want to stubbornly dig in. Nice rookie auto, Chris Alave. Saints, Jackson with the Saints. Not John Jackson, but Jackson W. I'm not going to attempt his last name. I feel like I'm going to... Jackson, you're also going to get this Trevor Penning as well. I'm going to... I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to go... I'm going to go Will Height. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. I'm going to go Will Height. There's Louis Sine. Sin? Sine? Kine? That I don't know. That's going to be for Douglas and the Vikings. Do I know, have to know what the biggest hit pulled by a customer in the shop? That I don't know. No, I don't know. Here's a nice Devontae Adams. Sparks, 34 out of 75. Um, ask me tomorrow, Rex, before, we, before the shop closes, then I can ask Evan. He would know. Two boxes to go. Oh, 
Um, on Instagram, we do. I feel like a lot of people buy boxes and go home. <laughs> They don't, they don't rip them here at the shop. Not as often, anyway. I feel bad for Devontae Adams. I mean, I, yeah, I, well, I don't feel bad in the fact that, that he's getting paid very handsomely to, to play the game of football. But I do feel bad in a personal sense, you know, in that, uh, get him to Green Bay, we hook him up with his buddy Derek Carr, and then, I don't know, I, and then Derek Carr gets unceremoniously benched and is away from the team, and then off he goes. I feel like that was maybe not the right way to do that. It's sort of weird. Didn't get to say goodbye to the fans or, you know... Uh, that's a weird situation. The Raiders are weird. We got Lamar Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. 36 out of 75. Lamar going to Michael and the Ravens. I'm glad that he went back to the... Well, not went back, but I'm glad they just got that deal done. You know, I think in the hobby, I always like seeing, you know, players stay in their... their you know their their uniform their entire career i know that does just doesn't happen very often but kind of sign at least a, at least one or two more deals with the with the team before you go elsewhere there's Hassan haskins to 199 yeah that's true tyler truer words have rarely been spoken here's Traylon burks rookie jersey and autograph for the titans EA with the Tennessee Titans. They're getting a new stadium. I'm pretty sure. 23 out of 99. And I'm pretty sure they somehow hoodwinked the city and got them to pay for... Got the, got the people to pay for most of it. I don't know. The owners make a lot of money. Like, fund the stadium yourself. Here's Trevor Penning to 199. Why don't why don't owners go into debt building a stadium? Here's Devontae Williams to 249. Why stick it to the people? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Aaron. Visited the shop, got a box of 2019 contenders, hit a Daniel Jones cracked ice autograph in the store, sold it for 3K. I remember that. There's Brian Robin to 149. Joshua with the Commanders. Justin Fields. Go, go. Oh. Come on, Mookie. 35. I thought he was lifting more weights in the off season. That 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 could if if that was just one more day of push-ups, that ball would have been gone. It's the marine layer. Yeah, whatever happened to Michael Carter and Javante Williams? I mean, I think that's just kind of what we were talking about a little bit, right? You know, the the running backs just kind of hit hit or miss. Yeah. I haven't seen Freddie fooled like that on a pitch in a little bit.
Ooh, nice. Trendsetter's gonna be trends, trends sports collections. Aaron is gonna go to Vegas this weekend. Yeah, that Vegas parade. Well, you mean that's third. Wait, when is that parade? I thought that was Thursday. Or no, maybe the Nuggets parade is Thursday. Yeah, then Javante Williams did his ACL. Which was unfortunate. I think during a Raiders game. Maybe a Broncos Raiders game, like non contact. So we'll see how he returns from that. Devin Bush and a Cedric Wilson Jr. 62 out of 75 for the Dolphins. That's Jackson W. with the Dolphins. Oh, it's on Saturday. They're closing the strip from MGM to Bellagio. That's a good chunk of the strip. There's Evan O'Neill to 99. Did I say O'Neill? Evan Neal. That's for the Giants. That's for Eric. And we have Tyler Algier. One out of 25. Tie-dye. Rookie autograph for John Jackson. And the Falcons. JJ with that one. I was putting the card in the top loader, and then it's stuck. And anyway, it's protected. It's safe. We got orange Jamar Chase to 49. A little color match there for Jeff and the Bengals. Oh, but Eric's like, man, Cedric Wilson should not have any Dolphins card. Nothing for us. And we got Travis Etienne Jr. Sparks Relic. Um, Aaron, are you a are you a Golden Knights fan? Thirty out of ninety nine. Tyler, do I have a favorite box I like to open? I do. The fa my favorite box to open is Select Football. In fact, Tyler, there's more select football on jazbeescasebreaks.com right now. Check it out. There's Evan Neal Blue and Phil Sims, jersey and autograph. ABC, Tyler, always be closing. Oh, ABC, always be closing. Eric? Here's an old school giant for you. Phil Sims jersey auto, 182 out of 199. 007 out of 199, Evan Neal. And let's see what we're going to end up with here. There's Jerry Judy. We've got a tricolor Jonathan Owens for the Texans. Wayne. To 149, and we got a nice tie dye Devontae Adams snapshots. That looks really. Is that a. You think they called that? <laughs> 18 out of 25. As a Raiders fan growing up, Adams idolized Tim Brown. Now, as a member of the team, the Pro Bowl wide has put his name ahead of the Hall of Famer after breaking the team record for receiving yards in 2022. It means a lot, obviously. Tim and I speak often. It means a lot. you got to call that, right? All right, gang. There you go. That was 2022 Select Football 6-Box Half Case Pick Your Team 6. A brand new release just dropped today. we got a Wax Party invite to give away. Then we'll do a quick little recap. So let's see who wins that Wax Party spot. Let's flip back to the list here, one being given away. Let's gather everybody's names, one through 32. And let's roll it and randomize it, five and a one, six times. Name on top after six, fingers crossed, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
So there'll be a lot of sad faces here. Saddest face is spot two. Oof, very close, Johnny. Appreciate you trying, though. Two through 32. But happy times after six for Steve Herrick. Steve, I don't think I called your number very often in this break, but with a spot that you won in the filler, you get a wax party invite. Check out the, the prize list on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Some really nice stuff. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everyone, for getting to select six. A lot of nice stuff here. A lot of nice color. I always always like the select design. Some gold. Chris Olave. The tie-dyes. That out of five Drake London. More gold. A lot of gold in this. I like this set. Some good stuff here. Look at that. Great photography. A lot of fun. A lot of good stuff. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.